all the odds. I mean, he, you know, Raphael comes in a different way. I mean, having been, you know, he's MIT grad, you know, that's like very cerebral. And he has this phenomenal eye for talent. I mean, I remember one of the first times we met for a drink, he looks at this girl across the room who's playing piano and he goes, that girl is a, she is an actress. I go, how do you know that? He goes, well, she's not yet, but she will be. And she became a star. Right, what's that girl's name? Yeah, Alicia, Alicia, Alicia Witt. Alicia yeah. Witt. Yeah. And I mean, movie. she's yeah. obviously a great piano player. It was at the Beverly Wilshire, and it was so funny because she, Raphael was like looking at her, but not the way a man looks at a cute girl, but looking at her like realizing she was untapped, but that she, it was, um, it was like spooky. And then she emerged yeah. And, yes, yeah. and he's done it, you know, fun was really, his movie yeah. was unrewarded. Because it was uh, it was ahead of its time in terms of the decadent girl teenager nihilistic um, depraved mentality, and um, he brought performances out on these girls. He just sees the girls. I don't know where it comes from because you know I, I've met a lot of people from MIT and they're usually really really. Um, rigid thinkers you know because engineering and that kind of thing is pretty rigid so that's what i would say to people you have to need to do it because it makes no sense maybe it's because um my a female is my alter ego i don't know and maybe i've never grown up that's why i love these young characters who are just learning and groping and searching and trying to figure it out because i guess that's what i'm still trying to do i still haven't figured it out i'm working on it what did people tell you about fun in the beginning? Because they're very extreme characters. I watched the trailer this morning, and I'd like to see the film. Um, and was it scary for people to see females in those roles? Like, even though you knew their backstory, I'm sure probably would. Help. Yeah, yeah, I think it was pretty shocking. You know, I think people were very disturbed by the film. But it was also based on a very interesting play that was very multicolored. You know, where there was no good or evil. It presented a a case where two girls who are very abused, very difficult situation, you know, they met for one day and they c did this horrific act of killing, for random killing, which is very much similar to what's going on with the shootings today, you mm -hmm. know, basically. It's very relevant. But it shows that this was a sort of an exorcism for them, a cleansing of all the, all the hell that was, you know, thrown on them. So in a way, it was a release. So then what is the good and the bad in that? Who is the, you know, who is responsible? Was it the parents? Is it society? Is it games, you know, the violence in, in the media? What is it? And it, you know, those were the interesting themes. And I think those themes are still here. We're still working on them more and more, actually.